called Stephen. He's got a bit of a rare old beast. He's got an Audi S2 Quad Raw. He says it's about 450 brake horsepower, but we'll be there in like a couple of minutes, so we'll find more about it when we get there. All right, fellas, welcome back. Me with Stephen. He's Audi. brought he's brought his uh, rather special Audi along. Audi uh, S Audi S2 Audi S2, Audi S2 Coupe. Lovely. You've seen you've had it since 2009 2000, as well. 2010, I bought it. Was it? Yeah. 2010. Can I ask what you paid for it? Three grand. Three grand, really? Yeah. So I was looking at them on eBay the other day, and they were about. I think the one there was one on that was about 22 or something. Yeah, 23. about 22, 23. People are asking quite a lot of money for them now, oh, um, yeah. especially. The, the later model with the better interior, there's a better interior on some of them. You Has know? this one got the better interior? That's got the old, in, like the the old, old interior. school interior, yeah. But so what have you done the outside? With it being a HR edge, now, now different. No. The only difference is the headlights are off a later spec and they're, they're off a 8. They put the Brembo's on? Uh, oh yeah, the Porsche Brembo's, yeah. Porsche Brembo's, are they? Porsche, yeah, they're, they're Porsche Brembo's and they're Mazda 6 discs on the back, but standard calipers. Lovely car, like. Handmade exhaust. Who made the exhaust for you? A chap in Prudhoe. Where? Prudhoe. Funnel. Prudhoe. Prudhoe. Cool car, like. I see, you never see these, do you? You just don't see them, mate. They're not about. Can we put them on and have a look at them? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, bring the camera in. Just so we can see you a bit better. So what size engine is this? It's a 2.25 cylinder. So the difference is on here. The, Reverse in inlet manifold uh -huh. uh, from a German company called Wagner Engineering. Wagner ex exhaust manifold, 3076 turbo. So what part with a standard? 220 to come out standard. 220. Yeah. And what's yours? About 450. 450 it makes at the moment at 1.4 bar. I had it up at two bar once and it was horrible. Why? Just sat, it just it was horrible to drive. Was it? Yeah. It was really like on or off. Because they're quite laggy, you know what I mean? They're quite right. a laggy thing anyway. Old school technology. Come in like, it was, <laughs> it was awful. It's a tiny little video, that, isn't it? That was made by a chap down uh, Midlands called Colin Colin Ray. Right. On Facebook. So is that where it is originally on these cars? That's where it is originally, but the smaller car, but then there's an auxiliary, an auxiliary radiator in the front now. Oh, right. There's no space for that, with the intercooler down there now. Where's the intercooler? Oh, is that the, the intercooler there? The intercooler, if you look, if you look down here, the intercooler's down there. Aye. But the standard intercooler's about that big. Is it? And it, it, the cross member, which I had that made, uh -huh. the cross member used to be like the, the return pipe. It used to go down through the intercooler, up, back up here, and into the throttle body there. Uh -huh. So now it's like just short and tracked down completely. It just took about a metre out of the uh, out of out the, the out of the track uh -huh. of the of the of the air. Cool car, cool car. Have you got any plans for it in the future? I've got a standalone ECU and some bigger injectors to go on it. Uh -huh. But time and just just, time. justification uh -huh. type of thing. Get um, time as well, isn't it? It's the hardest thing. Get, yeah. Get time to do things. This this old um, the the K Kedratronic, um ECU on here, the standard ECU. So every time you want to change the map, you've got to literally unsolder the chip, Have you? flash it, solder really? it back in. It's like a, a big old carry-on. Right old task. Yeah, it's not just a case of flashing a code, do you know what I mean? What part was this when you got it? 220 was a standard when you it got had, it? It had a set of super chips in it. So I, I think it was about 275, 280, something like that. Night and day difference I now. Bet, like. I bet. We'll go for driving it? Yeah, certainly, yeah. Put the point down? Yeah. There you go. Turn circle with a QE2 this thing. <laughs> Old cars. See, yeah, I was the same. A massive turn circle. You can't, you can't get around very far. Nah. So you're on standard suspension, that of this? No, it's got a KW uh, V2 coil over. So. Right, it's nice, like. It's all solid mounts throughout, apart from the front subframe. Everything's aluminium or Dellerin or. All the, all the old rubber has gone basically. Has so it? It is a little bit firm. It is a little bit hard, but yeah. it's nice. That light's nice. Remember when I first had it, it had 16 inch wheels, the standard 16s with big tall tyres, uh -huh. standard suspension, and it was it was a hell of a lot more chuckable. Was it? I mean, you could really get like, uh, 
especially for the country roads by me, you could go like the clappers. Didn't worry about potholes or no. Now we are always left here. On edge. I can out here then gang right. So yeah, it's a little bit. It's like doesn't like bumpy roads. So what have you done inside of this one? Did you put, yeah, take this down, we'll have a look. Did you put all the gauges in that bit? That's the only thing I put in their standard. Their standard and that uh, Turbo Smart Boost controller. You've put that in? I put that in. But they're standard, are they? They're standard then. Cool. So you got that Gear, oil? Gearbox oil. Oh, that's gearbox oil, is yeah. it? Yeah, then oil pressure and then volt meter. Battery voltage. Then that's your boost gauge. That's my boost gauge. I do have an uh, air fuel, air fire gauge I'm going to put in here, but you haven't got wrong I'm with yet. Got around to it. I like the three vents, like. I think I'm going to wait till I get the standalone ECU in, uh -huh. and then get everything to communicate. Ah, it's I link got up. Um, water meth injection as well, but that's not mapped in at the moment. Right. Have you got the tank now in the boot the or something? All, it all works, it all plumbed in and it all runs, but. I can only use 15% meth, any more than that, and it doesn't know, that it, it's not expecting the extra octane. Right. So it starts um, trying to compensate, and it splutters and farts and that. Does it? So. What's the diff thing, what's this? Well, basically, if you, if you, I'd have to stop uh -huh. and lock, lock the rear diff. Right. Um, it should unlock at 15 mile an hour, but there's a, a, speed, a speed sensor wire you cut and put a blade fuse in so if you pull the blade fuse out it it doesn't get the speed signal so it stays locked for as long as you want it to is that for like snow or something just playing around is it you ever had it on track about yeah i've took it to croft a couple of times have you yeah i bet it's all right is it it's all right but it's it's heavy it's a ton and a half car you get little cleos up behind you giving you hassling you on the corners and then you let them pass down, you know, then as soon as it gets a bit straight, you're whistling past them again. <laughs> no pulls like a high power four wheel drive car, is there? No. There's nothing pulls <laughs> like it. I love four wheel drive acceleration, like, absolutely love it. It pulls, it pulls well, to be fair. Does it, right, does it, right, does it. Third gear, you can go from 20 to 120. Can you? <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to worry. Uh, Where does the boost kick in? Comes in about, comes in about three and a half. Does it? Yeah. Aye. We can feel it start spooling. There. There, aye. Hear it, can't you? You can hear it whistling. But it gets strong, obviously, at four, four to seven, it's, it's on strong, like. Cool car, like, I love it. It's a five-speed gearbox. Yeah. The neck, the, the, the thing everyone puts in is the six speed out of the later version of this. Right. Are they stronger? They're stronger, but the the not much difference ratio end to end really. It just right. spreads the ratios out more. Right. But six gear, it's obviously a bit more of a cruising gear, so you, you do Aye. get a better top end out of it. By about maybe you might make it for ten mile an hour, but if you're going to be doing 180 mile an hour, Aye, nah. you know Aye. what I mean. Aye. My ass falls out at 140. It's <laughs> serious. If, you, if you're thinking about doing 180 mile an hour in a 30 year old car, you mad. You need your head looking at. Definitely, it. I agree with that. Like. <laughs> so what? What powers these five speeds good for? Well, it's holding 450, all right at the Aye. moment. So I think there's um, there is internal kits you can get from Quaif Internals with all the fancy Aye. straight cut gears and all that. But you're talking a bit stronger. You're talking 10 grand for the for the guts. On Cheers for meeting up, like. Right, uh, thank you very much, mate. It's been a pleasure. Do you want to, uh, do you want to leave a link to Instagram or like I that? don't have it, mate. Do you not? No. The, right. the only plug I'll give to anybody would be Automark in Stokesley. Aye. Yeah. I'll leave a link to the uh, page below if you want. Yeah, Automark. I'll, um, if you can't find it, I'll, oh, Christ, that's why it won't go back in. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, send you his, I'll send you his details Aye, I'll leave when I get back home. But uh, Automark, he's the, he's the man for this thing. Well, thanks again, mate, for meeting yeah. up. No worries, it's been a pleasure. Hi. Right. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one, fellas. All right, champion. Thank you. Spot on, mate.